Okay, we're getting into co-secant and secant. Now remember, those are just the reciprocals of sine and cosine. So it's actually almost fun to graph these ones. Let's get into it. It's the same. Um, it's based out of 2 pi as one complete cycle. So let's graph one, and you'll kind of see how this all makes sense. Cosecant, remember, is the reciprocal of sine. So let's graph the line y equals sine of x. So think of what that means. That means the period is 2 pi. So if we were kind of chunking out the four steps there, if we divided 2 pi by 4, we'll want to mark every half pi, which is pretty typical. So let's go pi over 2, uh, 2 pi over 2, which is pi, 3 pi over 2, and 4 pi over 2 is 2 pi. And we'll also go the negative route. So we'll have negative pi over 2, uh, negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2, and negative 2 pi. Now if we have one, negative one. Remember, sine starts at the center line. So we're starting right at zero, zero. Then it goes to our maximum, then to the middle, then the minimum, then the middle. So if we kind of go backwards with it, uh, middle, maximum, middle. There would be two cycles of sine. So cosecant, again, it's almost fun. It's kind of like combining this with how we had the asymptotes on tangent. So remember the asymptotes were when we had one divided by zero or negative one divided by zero on the unit circle. You can't divide by zero. So if we're thinking about cosecant, that's one divided by the sine. So anytime where the sine works out to zero, it would be one over zero, which is undefined. So where the x, or sorry, where the sine works out to zero is every time the sine crosses that center line. So all of these, when we're graphing the cosecant, will turn into asymptotes. Almost there. Okay, great. We've got the asymptotes. We've got the sine graphed. So the way we're going to graph the cosecant is we're going to take this maximum point here, and we're going to turn this into a parabola. So it can go up one over one both directions, and then it'll glide along the vertical asymptote. Great. So when it's a maximum point, you go up with it. When it's a minimum point, like down here at negative pi over 2, you just go down with it. And remember, these points correspond with the unit circle, the cosecant of pi over 2. It's going to come out to 1. And as we get closer to pi, it's going to increase there. As we get closer to 0, it starts to increase exponentially. At 3 pi over 2, it's going to work out to negative 1, and it's going to get smaller as we go towards pi, and it's going to get smaller as we go towards 2 pi. So this is your graph. All these blue parabolas, those are all part of the cosecant of x graph. That was fun.